mob wife Renee Graziano is here talking about the pitfalls of plastic surgery. In fact, she's even brought along her new doctor, I'm saying new doctor, who she says is now fixing all of the mistakes. So, oh man, she's brave to go back under the knife after what she went through. Can't wait to talk to her. Yeah. Stick around because you know who's here? No. Mob wife Renee Graziano. You better be careful. And her cosmetic She's surgeon. Sweet. They've got an yes. incredible story from this season of the show. How are you? Hello, Renee. Hi. Hi, honey. Love your shoes. Oh, thank you. And we're not going to send you home, either of you, Dave, and especially you empty handed because it's puppy adoption day. Wait, what, what's your So get your phones ready, everybody. Do I get a pit bull? Dog. Dog. <laughs> you know what? Yes. A dog? I yes. didn't come in for a dog. You're going to be taking, you taking one dog. Right? Okay. Where's it? So take me. Season two of Mob Wives is even more dramatic than ever. A plastic surgery disaster and a mob bust that's enough to push the toughest wife, Renee Graziano, over the edge. Take a look. After all the commotion becomes quiet on the phone, what? I hear, it's the police. What? No! No, no! No! I'm completely terrified. And I automatically know that they came to take my father away. They're taking my dad. Whoa. Joining wow. us now, Renee Graziano, along with her now cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Michael Fiorello. I say now because he's the guy who's correcting the bad plastic surgery. Co yes, correct. But we're going to talk about that in just a minute. First of all, that scene we just saw, that oh was when your your found out that your husband, ex-husband, had betrayed you, your father, worn a wire, and your reaction was one of... Yeah, you would have thought that they were being uh, lambs slaughtered. I was just so very well, what devastated. What was happening? What were you finding out? That your father had been arrested or what was going on? In that scene, I was finding out that my dad was arrested. What had happened that day was my ex-husband turned himself in and I was left a letter and that's how he said goodbye. And then a few hours later, my dad was taken away. So that was just that. That wasn't even the betrayal yet that I had found out. And then out. you found out about that. Why did you allow the cameras to be there capturing all of that? Or you just didn't know that that was going to be happening? Well, I had no time. idea that was going to happen, but I signed up for reality, and oh. this is my reality. And I, if I was to stop the cameras, then people wouldn't understand why I am the way I am, or, you know, maybe as emotional or sensitive. Is your ex-husband in the witness protection program now? I have no communication with him. None and at all? None, uh, no. Father of your son won't speak to him? No. Is he speaking to your son at all? I have that. I don't talk about AJ. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they do speak. I just, it's something very hard for me to right. talk about because it's his father and my father. So it's mm -hmm. the love I have for my father, I'm sure he has for his father. Mm -hmm. You sure. know, it's, it's, a, it's a sore subject. So what's the relationship like with you and your dad now? Great. Yeah. Is it really? It's great. Me and my dad are, yeah. Because the last it wasn't time we always no, right. no, 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 what no. What happened to bring it forward? My father feels very horrible for what my ex-husband did to me mm -hmm. because he had asked me to marry him as well. He had asked my father for permission for a second oh, time. Your hand in marriage. Yes. Um, for so, a second time. Yes. So we were going to get remarried in December. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so this was this was real betrayal. This was he came in. He was already cooperating with the federal government when he moved back home with me. So this was no and when idea. he was planning to remarry you, yes. this was wow. Yes. Whoa. Ugh. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. You well, move on to the plastic side. Yeah, we gotta talk <laughs> about that. That'll that. be a little bit lighter on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. But did you feel that you had to have plastic surgery because of the pressure of, of all of the attention you were getting and your kind of quote unquote stardom? No, I've always I ha I've always had a tiny hiney and I always wanted a bigger one. Um, so it was something that I wanted for many, many years. Well, what did you have done initially? I had wanted a tummy tuck and then for him to do um, fat transfer, which you take from the front and you put in the back. But okay. that's not what that doctor had cho No, not Dr. Fiorello. No, I know. Right. I want it, but maybe he can explain yeah, what he did actually, do. Yeah, let's go She had him. what's called a body lift, which is really for people who lose a lot of weight, like 100 or more pounds. And that skin. Extra skin, is, exactly. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure why Renee had it. But when she called me and she explained to me she had that, I was like, are you a weight loss patient? And she said, no. So when I met her, she was in the hospital. She had gotten three units of blood. I lost 6.3 pints. She lost, pints she lost a lot of blood. She had a bad infection. Mm -hmm. And when I got to her, she had a hole in her back that was about the size of a lemon that was all the way down to the bone. So, you know, plastic a surgery a is... A hole from the surgery? Yeah. 
from the um, I had gotten MRSA, so mm. it's a, the flesh eating disease. The back right. never closed the right way, and it kind of split open. So it was an infection. It was an infection too, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so my goal at that point was just let's heal, let's just heal it and move on. So before you could even jump in to correct it, she had to heal. Yeah, I mean emotionally as well, because she was just she, when we met, and that's I think how we kind of bonded was I kind of helped her through it, because when someone comes in for elective surgery, it's a happy time and you're excited, and when it doesn't go well, now you become a patient. You but know, is this just something that what happened to her with the with the first set of surgeries? Is this just something that happens right. could could happen when you get plastic surgery, or did, oh, yeah. did this doctor no. do something wrong? Well, you know there are risks with every surgery, so you know I don't know. I wasn't there during the surgery, so I don't know. Can't comment. Uh -huh. I just know from when I took over the case. Yeah. Um, so my goal was to heal her, which we did. And now we're going to fix that hole. So what happens next? You go in and fix that hole. Is there anything else that you have to to do? Can I just say something? He, he saved my life. He did a lot more than just make sure I close. He saved my life. If it wasn't for Dr. Fiorello, I probably wouldn't have made it through. Mm -hmm. Aside from the care as a doctor, but the talking to me, to making sure that I got through. His bedside manner was absolutely amazing. And he made sure that I had a nurse twice a day, not once, but twice, because we had, it's a lot more, you, you need to take a little bit more credit, Doc. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be able to sit here and, and talk well, about what it. What has to be done now? Is the hole still there? What are we correcting healed, now? But she looks great. She, she, I think she looks amazing. Yeah, yeah I do but, with my um, clothes on. <laughs> well, and you clearly you lost a lot of weight from last we saw you. Yes. So, but a b bunch of that was because of the pressure of what happened. Oh, definitely. I wish you would have cooperated prior to the surgery. I would have been thin and didn't need the surgery. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. You know. So what are we correcting? So what are we going to do? We're going to close that um, hole in her back because there's a very thin layer of skin right on the bone. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is just bring her in. We're going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to pull some tissue on top and just close it. So it looks nice and it feels better for her. So I guess, that's it? Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah it's very, you know, I don't sleep yeah. at all but from the pain. Here's, here's the bottom line. You're sorry you probably did that original plastic surgery. Are you scared now? I'm sorry I went to that doctor. I'm not sorry about plastic surgery, and I'm all. So you're not anti-plastic surgery. Oh, not at not at all. You'd have it again past this correction. Absolutely, <laughs> no. absolutely. I I mean I, I I just think that I got lucky and I lived through it, mm -hmm. and I think I lived through it for the reason that I can talk to other women about it now, and I could say. Well, so what's their their message to them out there then? Well, is definitely is go to the gym before you you elect to have plastic surgery and try to take off as much as you possibly can I agree. beforehand. Uh, make sure that you're mentally stable mm -hmm. and you're really doing it for yourself and not for anyone for else. For other reasons. You yeah, it, definitely. Yeah. Those are the two biggest things for me. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank it's you it's for good me. to see you again. And I'm thank glad you. to know you're on your road to health. Thank and you. And of course, Mob Wives air Sunday at 8 p.m. on VH1. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Pleasure. it.